Hi, in this session I will show you how the end user experience is for the Azure AD application proxy. So basically, how a user would be able to access his intranet or an internal website in a secure manner using the Azure proxy. So when the user not only works inside the corporate network, they will go through a URL, something called, for example, intranet like this site. And this site I've actually published using the Azure AD proxy. So this will be available to the user. So just so you can see that the functionality actually works. Let me just update the page so that you can see that it's actually published using this, this Azure AD proxy. So the time is 15, 11, copy it in. Place it. Refresh. Should be able to. Should be able to replace it. There we go. Five attempts, replace, replace, replace. And if we refresh the page, you'll see that the time actually matches now. And if we go to an external PC and open an Internet Explorer, we would be able to go to this page, which is the publication. It could also be a C name that we are pointed to. So, for example, that, that would be intranet at corp.com, and this will automatically redirect to this URL. When I'm trying to hit this URL, it will actually recognize whether or not it's a federated domain or an organizational domain that uses Azure authentication or password authentication. So let me just try to sign into the site using my credentials. And we recognize my domain. Just sign in. And here you'll actually see that I'm hitting the site directly. This URL is also public public available within the Office 365 portal. So if I go to my Office 365 account, you will actually see that it's available here as well. And I'm also able to find it under my apps. So if I click on my apps, I have my corporate apps available down here. Let me just refresh that. And there we go, same access. Thank you for watching.